My name is Nick Costigan, and this is my final project for Mecha 40. When you are in the Mechatronics program, you always hear about the Dreaded Recycler project, and it did not disappoint. This final project really tested our mechanical building knowledge, coding ability, and problem solving skills. My thought process throughout the whole time was to think about the sequence of events and how to build off that mechanically and programmically. First, I used a small gear driving a big gear for a lot of torque since I knew the robot would be heavy and added a caster wheel on the back for an easier time. Then onto the claw itself, I thought about how the can would be held in two arms without falling, so I added two rubber wheels on each arm that could grip the cans. Once I had that, I added an arm, Vex ultrasonic reader, and a line tracker to complete the whole look. Then I had to build where the arm would rotate back and forth. Knowing what I know now, I wish I used bigger gears for reasons I will get into later, but this setup proved reliable with the inclusion of the potentiometer on the side. And finally, I needed a way to sort the cans. I thought it would be simple to have a gear turn a tread, either left or right, and have two bins set on top of this, and it worked out great. Lastly, I put the Mega on the back and had to read a few numbers and saying what the robot was doing in real time, which could be seen within the code. Speaking of the code, let's get into that. My thought process for the code was to have two big while loops that would consist of the line tracking stuff and the can sorting stuff respectively and have the two alternate. Once in the can sorting while loop, I would have an if else statement that would also include code depending upon what color the can is would execute the right sequence. Since there was a new VEX item introduced, it took me a little bit of time to be able to get comfortable with it. Within the big if else if statement of the line tracking code, I had to include the sonar ping so that no matter what the robot was doing, it would always be checking if there was a can in front of it. Like stated before, I had two big while loops and to be entered into the second one, there had to be a can within one to five centimeters in front of the ultrasonic reader. And then depending upon what color the can is, it would be sorted and then re-enter the first while loop. The code could have been a lot more condensed, but having everything laid out and labeled like this made sense to me. If I could have done this project all over again, there are a few things I wish I could have done differently. On the arm rotating portion of the build, I should have used bigger gears so the arm motor could have had more torque. I thought with how short the arm was, I could have gotten away without using the big gears, but I was mistaken. The reason this change is needed is because after picking up two cans, the motor just gets hot and can't pick up any more without having a break period. Other than that, I would have done everything the same. As seen in the background, here are some trials before I got the project to where it is now. Once I got the claw to work, I would then add code on for the arm to go back towards the buckets, then add more and more code on at a time to be able to make sure that each step was working correctly. Within the code, I had to make sure since I was working with while loops, that variable values were able to be read at all times so the robot could continuously work. That's why in some videos, the robot would just stop working randomly. After I worked out all the kinks of the robot and code, it would always work aside from the arm motor becoming hot and overworked to be able to pick up more than two cans at each go around. I'm so happy with the build and had a blast trying to build this robot within a few weeks. So here is my final run.